And on to the latest on the upcoming Pakistan general election. Some interesting numbers are coming in when it comes to cricketer turned politician Imran Khan and his party, the Pakistan Tarikin Saf or PTI. As the momentum is building for the 25th July election, the two national public opinion surveys indicate that the PTI could come up. Uh, in fact, could come up with uh, a huge majority on polling day. But the question is, at whose cost? Take a look at this detailed report. Could it be advantage Imran on voting day, July 25th? Two national public opinion surveys, one by Gallup Pakistan and the other by Pulse Consultant, suggest it could be so. The Gallup survey puts PMLN ahead with a rating of 26% and the PTI close behind at 25%. The Pulse survey has Imran leading with 30% and PMLN at 27%. Gallup has projected 20% undecided voters, Pulse showing 9%. Gallup projects 26% of undecided voters could vote for PMLN and 25% for PTI. The Pulse survey shows 30% voting PTI and 27% PMLN. Overall, the surveys suggest PMLN is the preferred party among voters in Punjab. The PTI is the preferred party in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa while the PPP is strong in sin. It confirms the impression that Pakistan's national parties may have little appeal beyond their provincial boundaries, but Imran is clearly not buying that argument. His party people have confirmed he'll be contesting from no less than five constituencies, including Karachi, from where he has already filed his papers. Imran has said in the past that he intends to challenge the MQM or Muttahida Qaumi movement on its home turf. Other constituencies could be Peshawar, Lahore, Rawalpindi and Miawali, from where he had contested in 2013. His PTI is fielding the largest number of candidates, contesting 244 of 272 National Assembly constituencies and 522 of 577 Provincial Assembly constituencies. The party said the high number of candidates was possible because of electoral alliances resulting in seat adjustments in different constituencies. Imran appears to have gone the extra mile, announcing a new list of candidates for the national and provincial assembly seats last week after listening to the grievances of the party workers. He has also fielded the largest number of women candidates, 14, in an attempt to reach out to a key segment of the electorate. Imran is one politician who has kept the focus on corruption and the need for transparency in public life. Both issues appear to resonate with voters. Whether he can translate his moral high ground into ensuring a decisive vote on election day is the question. The buzz is, he has the army on his side, which has also contributed to a perception among nearly half of the electorate that polling this time may neither be free nor fair. Bureau Report, Beyond.